Avilio. Welcome, Wizards, Witches, and Nomads. My name's David Cicello, and thank you for taking the time out of your day to visit my channel, Wands and Reviews. Borgen and Burks, an antique shop located at 13B Nocturne Alley, is widely known to deal with unusual and ancient artifacts, and has a shady reputation due to the fact that it's frequented by those with sinister intent and those who are considered dodgy. One item that was on display at Borgen and Burke's had a label that read, Do Not Touch, Cursed. Not much is known publicly about this item besides that it claimed the lives of 19 muggles, and it would seem that there are those within the wizarding world that know about this cursed item's history, but none speak of it openly. However, it is known when the item makes physical contact with the victim, the curse's effects, depending on the amount of contact made, can make the victim enter a trance, suffer great pain, or even, as the curse's effects is intended, to cause death. But why? The item that I'm speaking of is of stunning beauty and inspired by the cursed opal necklace as seen in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I'll be sharing with you today the made-to-order, inspired by, cursed opal necklace that has been handmade by the Vanishing Cabinet. This is the inspired, cursed opal necklace that is handmade by the Vanishing Cabinet. According to the information on the Vanishing Cabinet's website, the necklace is made of hand-molded metal with inlaid crystal opals. The Vanishing Cabinet's Cursed Opal Necklace is labeled as inspired because it's not an exact replica of the Cursed Opal Necklace as seen in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. It is inspired by, and there are some artistic decisions made, but at the same time, this is the closest thing that you can currently purchase if you want a Cursed Opal Necklace in your wizarding collection. The necklace is very well made, and I applaud the Vanishing Cabinet for taking the time to hand make these made-to-order, inspired cursed opal necklaces. The detailing is phenomenal, and you can really see the hard work that went into making these necklaces. As you may have already noticed, the necklace comes in the shadow box display. The shadow box seems to be custom made and the necklace is pinned down to the fabric backing that is inside so the necklace will not move. It is a nice presentation for the inspired cursed opal necklace. The back side of the shadow box is covered in Borgen and Burke's paper, which is a nice touch. There is no hanger or hook on the back that hangs the shadow box on your wall, but you can always add one yourself like I'm going to do. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like you can open the shadow box unless you want to take it apart. I wanted to add in the included label that says Curse Necklace to the box, but instead I think I'll just tape the label to the back side and droop it over to the front side. The front of the shadow box is made of thin plastic and not glass, but there is a reason why. There are LED lights installed all along the inside edge of the shadow box and by using the battery operated control box hanging off of the shadow box you can turn the LED lights on the inside from off to on. The LED lights add a nice effect for the presentation of the necklace. There was, for a limited time, an official replica of the Cursed Opal Necklace made by Warner Brothers that was for sale exclusively at Borgen and Burks at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando, Florida. The official replica sold for $350 US dollars. I've heard, but I've not been able to confirm, that only 300 of this Cursed Opal Necklaces were produced for sale at Borgen and Burks. If you happen to know the official number, please comment below. 
I do know the official Warner Brothers Cursed Opal Necklace is one of the most sought-after Harry Potter items that collectors want. When one is found, it has been noted that they currently sell for well over 1000 US dollars. Thank you very much to the Vanishing Cabinet for packing this item extremely well. I was afraid, since it was overseas shipping, that there might be some damage that might occur. But due to your excellent packing technique, it took me over 30 minutes to unpack the Cursed Opal Necklace, and I thank you. If you would like to order the Inspired Cursed Opal Necklace from Harry Potter for your collection, you can do so by visiting the Vanishing Cabinet's website. I'll leave a link to their website below. I would also like to thank Victoria McLean, who originally shared the Inspired Cursed Opal Necklace on her YouTube channel. After I viewed her video, I went to the Vanishing Cabinet's website and ordered the Inspired Cursed Opal Necklace for myself. So thank you, Victoria, for sharing this with us all. If you like this video today, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you would, subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And remember to share this video with your family and your friends. Until next time, have a cursed free day.